right, good evening everyone. Thank you for coming. Uh, my name is Aaron Baker. I'm a member of the Virgin Valley Historical Committee. And this evening we have a Founders Forum um, that Bunker Hill is hosting for us. We appreciate that. Marianne Levitt will be moderating. And we have uh, three members of the Waite family here to share a little bit about their, their history. We have Mike Waite and Claudia Waite Levitt. And Berkeley Wait Hunt. No, no way. Berkeley Hunt. <laughs> Berkeley Hunt. He just wishes. He just wishes, huh? All right, well, we are grateful to them um, for their willingness to share their experiences and their memories tonight. Uh, the way the form will work, or it's traditionally worked, but Marianne can modify it however she wants, is that we just um, often have her ask questions and they respond. Um, but if you want people to ask questions at the end or during, if anybody has a question that comes to mind, go right ahead, raise your hand. There you go. Get Thank you. Answer. All right. First of all, we want to talk about what you remember about Bunkerville. Specific. You guys all grew up in Bunkerville, right? Yeah. So Bunkerville, how, is, how has Bunkerville changed from back when you were a kid to now? Mike. Yeah, I say something before I answer that question? You bet, but tell them. Okay, thanks. <laughs> The newspaper indicated that we're all of, of Jesse, and he is of Jesse. Uh, Burke, is, Burke is a hunt, and, and we're hunts by our mother, and Burke's dad, excuse me, Burke's... Uh, My dad, mother. Okay, yeah, his dad, and our mother. And he is a Wade as well. He looks like a Wade. <laughs> his name is Hunt, but he actually looks like a Wade. Uh, when you see a picture of our grandfather, for example, what you see is, is Burke. But he's, his mother was a wait. His mother and our father were first cousins, anyway. It's a lot of intermingling in our family. So tell him, tell him, Mike, about the two men. Tell him about Jesse and yeah. Yeah. Herb. Herb. Tell him about Jesse and Herb, the brothers. Two brothers married two sisters. Yeah. Her, her, my, my, or our grandfather was, was Herb. Herbert. Herb. Herbert. Uh, I'm just looking at stature now. Stat uh, uh, really, if Burke, if you'll stand for it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I built more like his grandfather. Right. Our, our grandfather stood about 5'2 or 5'4, somewhere in there. It wasn't that tall. <clears throat> but his, his grandfather actually was, was like 5'6, 5'7. And they had a brother actually who was like 6 feet, uh, who actually was, was uh, killed. Uh, I think he was killed. A, uh, a snake. Okay. Okay. They, they they were farmers, of course, poor, industrious, clever farmers. What was your question? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, we might as well start then. What brought them to the valley? Well, wouldn't we? I mean, Rebecca was married to. That was our great great grandma mother and father. They lived in England, and they came to America, and uh, then he died in Utah when he got there. Her husband? Her husband, which was William Noble. Okay. And so then they had four kids when they left England, and then when they came to America, they had three or four more. Louder. And Louder? Yes. yes. <laughs> Anyhow, they had more children, and then he died while they were in Utah. They were very poor. And in fact, the church helped them out because they were supported. And so then, polygamy was on, and so Lemuel Levitt took her as a polygamous wife in Utah and brought her down to Bunkerville. That was in 1879. I think Bunkerville was organized, what, 1877? Yeah. So they were two years afterwards. And so, and so her children were Were my Jesse grandpa, and and yeah. Right, the, the, Herbert. Herbert. They were okay. born before the marriage, right. before that marriage. Yeah. <coughs> so they came to Bunkerville as children? Were they well, adults? My grandpa was I think the young. youngest when they came from England. I, I think when they moved here, when he died, uh, grandpa was 10, I believe. Okay. But he, he was he was kind of a servant there in Santa Clara. They were living in Santa Clara, five miles. Um, there was there on the creek. Right. Up the creek. <coughs> But she was, she was simply too poor to take care of them, so right. the children were, were kind of farmed out. But then she came down, Lemuel, uh, and then the children followed. Okay. So that's how they came. 
Okay, so well, we're glad you're here. <laughs> okay, yeah. So the original question was, how is Bunkerville different from when you were children or growing up than today? Want games? Should we go to games first? <laughs> sure. What would you do for sport? That's another question. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it'll, work. it'll work. We can come in. We just made it on fun. Yeah. Yes. We didn't have to. You've got to talk louder. We can't hear you. Okay, and talk to them. Just don't talk. Okay. We just made it on fun. We uh, played kick the can, run, sheep, run, those kind of things. And uh, what are some of the others? We played, we called it rubbers. We made out of some tubes. We'd shoot, we'd hide in the old mill, and take up teens. That was boys. So the girls did too. So it's like paintball with the rubber. Yeah. 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 Face out and you got blasted. Okay. And, uh, of course, hide and seek all that. Yeah. I heard there was a game called Willows. What was that? Who was Willows. Was that you, Carol? I think that came later. Thought of hide and seek. Right? Oh, okay. Remember, Howard pa didn't come to the valley until like uh, uh, 39. And television didn't come to the valley until the 60s or, or Well, like 50. <laughs> they came to Vegas and uh, graduated in 53. Yeah. So it's We occupied ourselves doing outside things, which was much more enjoyable. Yeah. Your mother probably appreciated it more. That's correct. <laughs> okay, so as you grew, well, what else? What about how did um, it's hot here? If you didn't have electricity till 30, well, 39, you guys were probably all remember electricity. We used to like. Did you have air conditioners? No. Swamp coolers. Swamp coolers. Well, we, before that, though, we slept outside. Yeah. It's not any cooler outside. <laughs> <though>. No, but <laughs> it was stuffy in my house. So what did you do to stay cool? During the summer. I remember they put up sheets if you yeah. said slip outside yeah, it's laid out there. Wet sheets up so that the breeze would blow through and make it a little a little cooler. I don't remember it. Fox as kids, I don't think you're not as hot as when you get older. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you barefoot, slept outside. We always went barefoot. I see kids go barefooted now, but yeah. it's cold. I think they're crazy. But all right, how about uh, keeping warm in the winter? We fire. You just had fires and then Fire, Most of the fireplaces are stone, so it wasn't a problem. Okay, and did y'all? Too warm. Too warm? Yeah, I've heard stories about stoking the fire. <laughs> do you ever remember snow here? Yes. As, what do you remember? Well, when we were in high school, we had it on the ground here for about three weeks. Really? <coughs> we got out of school because uh, it was heated with uh, steam, kind of. That's cool. Yeah. And. Uh, it froze the water coming from the mountain. So and you have the water. So tell me about school. Since we're in school, where did you go to elementary school? Mesquite. <coughs> you went to elementary school here? Yeah. No, not elementary. Okay. You went to elementary school in Mesquite? Mesquite. Did you have to take a bus? How did yes. you get there? Yes. There was a bus? Yeah. And what do you remember about it? What? One bus. One bus? Yeah. How long did it take? I don't even remember that. It was the same distance. Well, bring the high school kids over, pick us up, take us back. That's okay. Okay. They moved. This this was the high school. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, did you go to high school here? No. They did. You didn't. It, well, in, this was it, it was moved in '58. Okay. Yeah. Our whole class is across the hall. There were three buildings. In this building? Yes. There were three buildings, so this was one? Yes. And then where the fire department is was another. That was the middle building where the auditorium was. And then the west building was where the administration and library and, and lunch is that room. where the park is? Yeah. And so the park wasn't there? No. There was a place over there where it was cemented that we could skate, roller skate, yeah. because we didn't have any other place to roller skate, except on the roads were... The roads were just gravel. gravel. Well, yeah. well, we had some oil, but uh, pretty rough. Okay. Small. Small? How big were your classes? Hey, Mike, you guys got talked up. Yeah. Sorry. 
Why? Why? They still want you to light the bus when the shotgun will. <laughs> 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 you're not supposed to tell that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you couldn't do it, Tom. No. <laughs> Every night I'd carry the shot. I'd take a shotgun on the bus and ride it up to the bridge and then let me out and I'd go check my muskrat traps on the way home and hunt the rest of the way. Yeah, I think you have a hard time. I, I, I kept it in the locker. In, the, in the school? Yes. Oh, good. That's good. <laughs> it was skunks, too. Really you thought it was a nice bill. He's got all the skunks. Under the yeah, oh, yeah. Is that your job? Well, Jack Mitchell told me to give me a dollar for everyone I catch. That's good money. I told him I'd catch them and shoot them. But I won't take them out of the traps. Come out of the house, up there two blocks up, smell skunk. I got nine up first night. Oh, wow. We got out of school. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, do you remember, like, any traditions you had in high school? Like, um, whitewashing the bee every year was a big tradition yes. for a long time. Did, were you involved in that? Oh, yeah. Was it uh, school Wagon. activity? Did you? Everybody we go got to, or? We got the day off and we done things around the school. But <clears throat> then we'd go up there and the whitewash it and then we'd have a party at it. You took a wagon up there? Well, I guess someone on horses. But yeah, I went on I horses, horses. or walked. I, I don't know. Did you go all the way? Yeah. Most of the time I didn't go all the way. <laughs> 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 Did you go up? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I just, uh, until the move, until the move down to the school, I think it's bad. Do they do that now? No, they no, the no. district won't let them. Don't do nothing. It's sad. I think initiation is also part of the tradition. So it's freshmen coming in. Yeah. So what did you do for initiation? Dressed up in <laughs> funny, different yeah. things. You made the freshmen dress up? Yes. Or? I was a freshman. I think freshman. it was, I'm sorry, it was, it was seventh grade. Oh, they came over seventh grade, actually. Yeah. Right. So 7th through 12th was over here. Yes. And did you make a few things besides dress up? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you remember any of you? We had a, an assembly when it was initiation, and, and the freshmen had to perform something. What? <laughs> Too many years ago. <laughs> I can't remember. Hazen, I think, has since been stopped. Yeah, it, I don't it, think it was, it was <laughs> Just like taking guns on the bus. <laughs> <laughs> right. They also had a Sadie Hawkins. Yeah. That's true. Oh, a Sadie Hawkins dance? In the spring, they would have Sadie Chase Hawkins. The girls, the, the girls the would chase, chase the boys. The boys. <laughs> Did you get caught? We would always make sure we were caught by the right person. <laughs> 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 okay. That's good. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, what else? Um, what did you do for jobs when you were teenagers? Or did you have, or let's start earlier, sorry. Chores, what kind of chores did you have as children? In the house, I had to milk the cows? <laughs> sure, farming farm chores. Yeah. No, feed them. Did everybody so have a cow? You no, know, what we have to do, what I have to do is we live in the house, that rock house up at the cemetery. Uh -huh. I had to bring cows all the way down. The dairy down here, that, oh, just right there close to the, the post office. Candy car across the post office right there, where the community dairy was. Oh. Let's bring them down there and milk them and take them back. So everybody brought their cows there to milk them? Yes. That changed a few years later. Yeah. yeah. So we had three or four. Farmers would get together actually. So there were three dairies there. But, I mean, when they, when they, they first came, there was kind of a, a cotton area, so that they raised a lot of crops. It wasn't until probably the 40s, was it, before they really got in the dairy business? Yeah, it was there. It was a little It was a money uh, because uh, that, normally they just exchanged the kind. Mm -hmm. They actually bring money in the dairy, so the farmers moved to, to the well, that's where I learned how to swear. Uh, I hear cows are good for that. <laughs> you may have known just a little before. That. No. I never learned to milk cows. I probably didn't swear either. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> so, you had housekeeping chores. What about, um, did y'all have gardens and things you had to do around? We, I think Dad tried in the garden, but he wasn't the gardener like some of the other weights were, I think. How about yours? Dad did it really well. Has to learn somewhere. He's a pretty good gardener. <laughs> When they're living off the ground, off the earth, of course, all of them did. Right. Mean, when you talk to of our parents growing up here. They probably all did. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, because that, that's how they ate. Right. Okay. So, um, uh, that was going somewhere. What about, um, we do pomegranates. We pick pomegranates, make pomegranate jelly now. Did you do that when you were kids? Sure. Figs, pomegranates. Apples. I don't remember making jelly when we were kids. No. We didn't have Did you have grapes? Yes. We had grapes. Had grapes. Did they you bottled them? They bottled the grapes. And Dad, that was Dad's favorite pie, was grape pie. Did you make raisins? Yeah, they did. My, fact, my grandfather had a big vineyard on Mesquite that uh, they had a grape pie. Oh. He had 20 acres of grapes there. And they made raisins and so that's how they made a living. So, when you were little, did you did your families have cars? No. I think no. In the fifties, no. I think my dad got one in the fifties. He worked construction, but yeah. usually used the company yeah. car. There's about five, five or six cars in this town. So did you leave Bunkerville very often? Did you go to Mesquite very often? Or at school. school on the bus. Well, on the bus. <laughs> yeah, but they had two stores here. Then. Wagons. Yeah, two stores. Yes. So where were the stores? One of them is still there. The one that's on. Then Roy Wade had one up where uh, Jesse, Jesse Baeza was. Oh, okay. Yeah, we didn't do a lot of traveling. Kind of made your own entertainment yeah. fun. And I think when Roy Wade stores started, it was it was quite a big thing. I can remember in the <laughs> one room was uh, like a little uh, where they had ice cream. They you said they made homemade yes. ice cream. Yeah. And uh, they had a player piano in there, and, really? and it was a little inner, kind of a, like a, what is that called? Well, the CCC guys were in there a lot. And were they still here when you guys yes, were there? Yes, I went to school with a couple of them. Oh, they're at school too? Yeah. Their well, kids, kids. Their kids? Yeah. And where did they stay? They're well, the ones I knew lived in one of the barracks there. Where were the barracks? There were. Uh, the Spencer's are that field the other side of the post office. Oh. From there to the highway. It's where the barracks were. Oh, that's right. Okay. And um, the, what about dating? Who did you date? <laughs> Just people here in town? <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's intermingled so much. Okay, so what did you do for dates? Cook the dance. Ball game. Most of the dances. Oh, kind of did, in Bunkerville had a lot of dances? Yeah. So we they had church dances. dances, school dances? Sometimes church dances. Yeah. That was the recreation, actually. Yeah, yeah. You saw adults uh, come because they grew up dancing. That was, when they grew up, it was it was the sport. So was it like yeah. a weekly thing, or? Well, no, but the push up on the floor. There was no ball game on there, was it dancing? Yeah. That's correct. Ball games and dances. In fact, Ethel played for them. Grandpa, it's hard enough for me. You guys are good at it. Don't you guys go on hay rides like we did? No. We always went up to White Rock. I uh, did go to White Rock for picnics and stuff. But she rides. How would you get there? White wagon. Wagons? Okay. Did you go anywhere else besides White Rock? Back home. <laughs> <laughs> like white grass or we lime kiln. We went to a good, good lime, we went to lime kiln on when we were s seniors, we had a class party every week. It <laughs> Of course, I don't want to well, tell how what we do. <laughs> the girls. What do you mean, Um, you crawl. <laughs> All right. Okay. What do you remember about? Um, let's see. How about shopping? Well, we said there were the two stores. What did you do for? Food or clothing or supplies you needed. I think we ordered in the catalog. School clothes, um, pennies and Sears in Las Vegas, or pennies in St. George. But I don't remember going. 
weren't shopping much. We usually got our clothes in the catalog and sent them back. To the <laughs> she learned that well. <laughs> All right. How about uh, what did you do for entertainment? Uh, did you have a theater here, or movies? Did you have? Uh, one time they did. Yeah, one time they did before our time. Oh yeah? Well, mesquite. We went yeah, Mesquite had one, right? Elwood. Yeah. 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 Elwood. Elwood. Yeah. So would you go over there to go to movies? Yeah. Like in high school. When you're in high school. When you go over younger, you pick up what were loaded kids. But also have ward. That was a means of, of raising my in the awards would have once a week would have a award party or award. Award show. show. Award show, okay. <laughs> Like a Cowboy. movie show yeah, or a movie. Okay. Sell popcorn. It was really a means of, of raising money for the. I remember that. Cereals. Can you ever remember the. the uh, what were the cereal? Uh, so they're like 12 or 15. Mix and right. Who? Tom Mix. Yeah, Roy Rogers. Right, that's what Pop all the gas. So were they new movies that you got to see, or were they? New to us. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, we'll see okay. Well, that's good. Um, what was the first job you ever had? Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Okay. Well, that's good. Okay. Well, that's Okay. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we worried. They didn't worry about filling teeth. That was just they kind of wasting hurt. money. They thought <laughs> until Take they had it to pull it out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about uh, if there was an emergency? Who took care of them? They had to run them up to St. George. Or just whoever yeah. was there. There wasn't a volunteer or anything. No. Or? Oh, later there was a nurse in Mesquite. Uh, yeah. Or Bertha. 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 Yeah. But that was later on. When, when we had our that accident when my mother was killed, they just loaded in a car and hauled them to Vegas. They had to haul them. My sister always in Vegas too. They just don't need to be there. Really? Have you got one shot in the mood? What? Have you got one shot in the mood, Mesquite? And bring the house. You take the second. One shot was enough, huh? <laughs> Okay, how about the swimming? Where did you go swimming? Falls. In the ditch. In the ditch? The girls go in the ditch. When you say the ditch, what do you mean by the ditch? I know, but where? Where there was like an opening. Like anywhere there was an opening? Like down by the fields down there? Or no, on the no. streets? Or? It's up here at the head of this street right here. Or, or the sand gates. Yeah. Sand gates up that way. Right up there. Right across from Grandpa and Grandpa's house is a good water play. Yeah. Oh. That was the main place. That was Grandma Haven's hole, and that's where we went to swim. Yeah. Okay, yeah, and Grandma Haven's hole. Okay, Grandma Haven's hole. They said it was up on First and South. Uh, just as you come into town, where it used to flood all the time. And then the falls. Tell them about the falls. The falls is right down uh, behind the like Road. Road. Yeah. Yeah. By the old mill. Where was the old mill? It's down, or down right there. Or Nick Bartlett's house, the proxy is where it was. Actually, Ben's house sits right on it. Where Ben's house is, that's where the house was. It's on Second West and Diagonal. It was down when we were kids. We'd go in there to play. But yeah. it, it wasn't in use then. I don't know how no, long it had been since. So. When we were kids, it was just a boys' place. We didn't dare go there. <laughs> <laughs> matter of fact, even the falls was just a place for boys. Girls were allowed to go to the falls. See, when I moved here, everybody used the falls. Well, that's because they were. Well, you wore swimsuits. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, that's because they were swimming. Yeah. Well, you wore swimsuits. Yeah. Well, that's because they were swimming. 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 Yeah. Well, that's the, the concrete yeah. slab yeah. it, 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 it's pretty deep yeah. hole. It, it wasn't. It was about as half as big as this room, so it was deep and and the the, the, the water was. It wasn't quite as high as this room. But, uh, right. And the mesquite trees, the bushes were around it, so it was kind of a secluded spot. 
where boys could go without a lot on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you were, your mom had a post office in her home for a long time. Is, was that the only post office that you remember in Bunkerville? Or? Aunt Fern had one, I remember that. Fern had one. And then then Hazel. Hazel. Hazel McNeil. Then Jim Abbott had one. Jim that was, was first before. before. Jim was first? Yeah, yeah. they had it first. Yeah. 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 Jim Abbott had it a long time ago, I think. Their mom's day, anyhow. And then, so it was just in in their home, except for yeah. the one that Jim Rowe had in the store. Kenneth Rowe. You had to maintain that yourself. The postal department didn't. Really? Did they pay the postmaster? Not very much. I think I got some to pay for mom, but I think mom never got paid for hers. Huh. Rent you're talking Red. about. Red. Yeah. yeah. Okay. How about, uh, do you remember police here at all, ever? Not here. No. We didn't kill a mosquito. Or... You didn't have a sheriff or a constable? Dad, or... Dad at one time was a sheriff for a while. Uh, that's when I was a little kid, though. I thought he was. What did yeah, he do? I thought he was I mean, really important. <laughs> I don't know what he did. <laughs> that's bad. We, when we were going to school, it was Oscar Abbey. That's true. And was he the only one in Mesquite? It was that time. Later on, he had identity. Yeah. yeah, so just the one or the two for yeah. the whole valley? Okay, how about. Um, what about the 4th of July? Over here, we. Nowadays, on the 3rd of July, there's a big town water fight, and the 4th of July, we have games and things. Was it like that when you were kids? Or? Yes. We had a bandwagon, too, what I remember. What, is, what do you that, mean? They decorated up a, a big flatbed truck or, or wagon, and uh, we had our little costumes on, and, and they put a piano on it at some time, and we went all around town singing. Oh. Yeah. That was the morning of the 4th. 3rd of July, the girls would find a hiding spot. Yeah. Well, the boys would find them and drown them. <laughs> so what do you mean drown them? Bring buckets of water. Pour them on. And where is it like one group of girls and the boys would all find them? Or would they be different? Ages, yeah. Different ages? Yes. Pardon? Did you? Yeah. Going around town? House to house. Every place we went to, they said there's something to eat. Oh, wow. In the morning? It was in the morning? Yes. So you get root beer and cookies in the morning? Repeat that's the last one here. Sorry, she said that she played on the bandwagon for many years, and they went from house to house playing, and every house they'd go to, they'd give them something to eat as they went along on the 4th of July. The of July. So, there are some seats up front if you guys want to move up. And they had races and stuff. In fact, Dad was... <laughs> the first one that I remember of being the one that started, started the, races. the races. And he did that till even after he had his leg cut off. Yeah. Well, racer. we had races when I was little. But I never did ever finish one. <laughs> <laughs> his mother was. My mother would get out there and say, Go! <laughs> <laughs> Push your right over. So the races have been going on for a long, long time, I think. From the beginning? Maybe? <laughs> and Dad was good. We practiced. Yeah. <laughs> we, you know, we always came up to our, the people came to our house to practice. Good. Either practice. Starting, or... starting, you know, because that was part of it. If you didn't get started right, you didn't win. Oh, well, yeah, Bert knew that. <laughs> <laughs> people came to your house to practice that. They also came to your house because your dad was the, the town barber, right? right? <laughs> you also well, like, yeah. When we had cousins come in, also bring out the boxing gloves. I hate to see cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Love to have fights. Really, I mean, it was yeah, part, of, part of the regulations. Yeah. Okay. Dances were made up of dancing and fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little too much to drink and they fought. <laughs> All right, what do you remember about church as a kid? Nothing. <laughs> you went to church in the middle building of the yeah. school building. Uh -huh. Okay, and did you go 
like the rest of the world where you went in the morning for priesthood and then you went to Sunday school. Went home, we brought everybody back for Sunday school, and they went home, we went back to that meeting. Well, had to work around the farmers. Right. So, uh, I don't think we waited until I'd heard of churches waiting until the evening. We usually had ours, we'd have a break, but then we'd come back, I think, in the afternoon. Yeah, 2 o'clock or something. Okay. Um, but it was here until 52, I think. We got it was here in the it's in that in the middle building. auditorium. In the middle building, some, the, of the, some of the classes were over on the west building because I remember as a, in primary, you lose half the kids get into class because <laughs> they were going over to the other building. And then, so when did you quit having church here in the school building? When they finished the chapel. And how did that come about? That there became a chapel here. And money, yes. <laughs> That's, you know, that's Vin's story to tell. Vin was, uh, Vin's dad was the bishop. And I think the two chapels were being built at the same time. The Mesquite Chapel, I think, was completed about the same time. As a matter of fact, it was, it was the same contractor. Mm -hmm. So there's one hired yeah. man, one, one yeah. man who got paid. The rest of it was well, 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 yeah. So the locals. Do you remember helping with it? Yes. We had bake sales and that kind of stuff. I didn't do physicals. Yeah, we didn't yeah, do that. We did it. It went over the floor. actually just talked about this a couple of Sundays ago, but they'd actually make the brew. Mm -hmm. uh, but they, so I was, I think I was seven when I was finally dedicated. Uh, well, I remember helping and cleaning. Mm -hmm. They didn't give any great response. You remember working on it, though, Burke? Yeah. What did you do? Well, we didn't. Handyman type. We handle stuff. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. That, that's good work. Do you remember um, anything about the atomic bomb testing yes. fallout that was here? What do you remember? Perfect. You could see it. You yeah. could go out to it the back of the I don't, I don't remember being excited about it, but no. we could see the mushroom, but you know, it wasn't anything. You knew weird. when they were going to sell it off. <laughs> you knew when they were going to sell it off. Why? The big planes would be circling on the air for quite a while and all of a sudden want to take off and the doll follow and we want to see the blast. And then the cloud come up and then we get the boom. And that first one was Nobody knew it. That's right. <laughs> the first one? Yeah. That was a surprise. They, they had a middle of the night. There were gauges all the way around town for checking the fall out. And I think I think there were times there was a time or two that they'd actually prevent us from going to school. Well with us when we were practicing our graduation exercise, they wouldn't let us out of the building. We had to stay in the building. Yeah. And they'd stop all the cars on the highway over at Mike Burns's. They'd make them take a shower and scrub the cars. Really? But you guys were okay over here? Yeah, we were going to let us out of the building. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. What do you remember about uh, the freeway being built through the gorge? Do you remember that? I was in Vegas. Well, I was in Vegas too. Oh, and we were in high school. Of course, we can remember the old 91. I mean, this, yeah. this was the main highway. Right. Just the two and lanes. So was it? I mean, did thing? How did things change when it went from that highway to over <coughs> through Mesquite instead lot, of through Bunker A lot quieter over here. <laughs> Before they'd have right at the top of town. There was or up on the main street where the. Uh, Roy Waite's store was. There was another store, right? Uh, a little bar and stuff up there, didn't it? Oh, that was up the highway. That's right. what I mean, on the it highway. Up, on uh, and Riverside had Yeah, one. they had a service station in the motel. And in Bunkerville? Yeah, that was up there on the highway. And uh, then when we were in school, it burned down. Oh. And then wasn't there a station, a gas station down at Riverside, too? Yes. The guy that owned that was Carl, uh, named Carl Inky, wasn't it? Carl Inky was down there. Yeah, Carl Inky was down there. During World War II, they put him in a concentration camp because he was German. Oh, wow. And then we used to have, they used to have to go down and guard the bridges during the war. Why? Fred Jacks were going to blow it up. Wow. I didn't know this was a high, high profile place. Yes. Can I interrupt just a little bit? You guys, uh, all of you, kind of overlooked what she said about the atomic uh, energy. 
and the bomb going off in this area. A lot of people in this area suffer because of the color, uh, that cloud that lingered over this valley, also Cedar City and St. George. Right. And I just wanted everybody to know that you guys took it pretty lightly. They, they actually um, just make would wait for the winds. A lot of people suffered from cancer. Oh, yes. yes they did. And they're still yeah. suffering. Yeah. Yes. If the winds were going Vegas way, then that way, really. They had to come this way, they wouldn't sit at all. That's correct. Fewest people. Because there were less people out yeah. here. Yes. <clears throat> and it is true. It was a tragic thing. That were. Of course, they always told you that it yeah. wouldn't uh, affect you. Right. Um, uh, yeah, sure. Um, so what was your first job when you were a teenager or whenever you got your first job? Was it here? Did you have to go somewhere else? I worked in the cafe in Mesquite. Of course, you left out one too. Why? You used to go up pick radishes and. I don't remember. That. Oh, yeah, we were going to get to that. Radishes and onions and the little beaver dams. Yeah, let's go with that for a minute. The, tell us about picking that. radishes and onions and beaver dams. Well, how did that come about? They'd come down, get us out of school, and go up and pick them. Everybody? The girls and you had your choice one. if you wanted to go or not. And would. Did you? Didn't make much money, but. But they paid you a little bit? We get paid. We yeah. get paid uh, three cents a dozen. But you got out of school. Yeah. <laughs> well, you got out of school to go pick radishes. You got out of school to go whitewash the beach. You guys go to school. Well, no. more than I do now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So back to your job. Mostly farm, farming. Farming. Hauling hay, milking cows. I guess that was it. The really. Dairying had taken over, so it was, it was out in the fields where alfalfa, and we milked. I don't have any hay for it, though. We, I helped haul hay, but we were just helping. We didn't get paid for that. Yeah. You know, that was just... Just something everybody did. Yeah. drove the tractor, tractor <laughs> <and just drove. laughs> No, I would stop the hay. If they didn't have bales, That's they, true. But, uh, you just stopped, and you worried about it, went around the curves, because you might go sailing off on the ground. <laughs> That was, that was before the bales. Then, when they just put them in the floor, <coughs> put the new hay on the, on the wagons. So the kids would have to Yeah, stop we were just to stomp it down so they could get more hay on it. Okay. Where would people go that you would have to babysit? To the doctor or something. They'd find a lot of skills to go somewhere. All right. Um, Tell us, uh, besides the 4th of July and water fights, were there any other traditions the town had, or any Christmas traditions, any town tree lighting, <coughs> or anything like that that used to go on? Christmas tradition, yeah, it was, it was the Christmas Eve. I think that was changed much, much later. Uh, but every Christmas Eve, we would have a war party. Uh, and Santa would come and give Christmas presents to all the children. Sometimes he came to the houses. Yeah, they, they'd have a celebration on the 24th of July. On the 24th of July, too. What would yeah. you do for those? Parades. Everything you did on the 4th. Yeah. Yes. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you? Uh, Christmas, I think, in, in my day, part of the fun was going around to everybody's home. That was hard for me when I went to Vegas, because, you know, you went around to everybody's home, whether you're friends or not. And just. See what Santa brought and their on Christmas and Day. Yeah, yeah. Their and get some other treats, and, and you just made the rounds. But now they don't do that here either. Douglas probably has it. Well, we got a little older when they actually got power down. <laughs> <laughs> on the 24th, Uncle Dan Lake would have had horses on the wagon. We'd load up and go to the old park, which is up to well 29 or something. Mm -hmm. And that's where we. And then the kids would dress up as Indians and attack us as we was riding on the 24th of July. And then we'd have a games and parties up there the old Low Park. Tank. We did have prayers, too. The 24th of July, when 
all of our families made covered wagons. Mm -hmm. We started, we started way down there to read the time to come up to it. The time we got right out there, the Indians attacked us. And I'll never forget how we had to grab me out of that wagon. <laughs> I knew I was kidnapped and I was going to be killed. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, does anybody have any questions they'd like to ask? Did you steal any chickens? Oh, oh, all, yes. all, <laughs> all them, all them uh, class parties we had, that's how we got the chickens. <laughs> there was a story, oh. of, there was a story in, in, in the weight book about uh, my dad, supposedly, and, and somebody, one of his friends was, they came to the mother and asked if, if they could have a chicken, and, and she said yes, and so they went out. And she said it was a moonlight night, so she could see that they weren't going, that he was going, they were going next door to the bishop's house where they had chickens. So my grandma went right over to their house, to the bishop's house, and said, those kids are out there stealing chickens, you go out there and do whatever you need to do with it. We <laughs> 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 steal from each other every night. It's a boy different. Um, I was going to say, if we could change, you might have been the bridge. Oh, Except for doing that's right. Bridges, yeah, you know? yeah. When, what do you remember about the bridge? Or were you around when that was built? The bridge from Oklahoma City. Well, between the two. Did it? Uh, did that big flood we had uh, in the 30s? Didn't that wash some bridges both out? 1937. Yeah, we had a we had a field over Mesquite, and I know that. Yeah. Not go over that field. We had to go across the river in the wagon. Horse boy. I, I went across the river too, but it was not My sister lived there, and I bought to go over and stay overnight. Of course, we had to go in the wagons. Yeah. Mother didn't want me to go because she said they ain't going to bring you home when you start crying. <laughs> But they, in the middle of the night, here from that way, you bring me back to the <laughs> this, this generation, by the way, Ethel's generation, uh, bridged, there may have been such a generation, but she bridged more changes, I think, than any, I, oh. I'm not destroying it, but they grew up, um, when you first see a car, Ethel, how old were you when you first saw a car? Well, there's only, when I was a kid, there's only two or three cars in, in town. Just wait, had one of the model T. T. Yeah. Well, this was for just straight up. So the old Ford. Their, their plowing was done behind a horse, as was our, our fathers. Um, and then they moved to the seats, where the, well, there was still a horse, but they had little, little seats that they'd sit on. And, but, but those who grew up then in the first of the 1900s saw amazing changes in, in those, those 40 to 50 yeah. years. I, I'm not sure. Rather, we see it now, of course, in in technology, in technology right? A new one yeah. every every other month. But right. they saw they went from horse and buggy. Mm -hmm. My mother was uh, probably in her 60s when she first went on an airplane, a little funny but, uh, What was time. the last time you rode one? <laughs> <laughs> My first trip was when I went back to Denver to pick Davy up. It's the last. Two weeks in one. <laughs> first time I'll never get on another one. <laughs> 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 well, well, I think, excuse me, but I think when, when the Waits had the, the grapes over to Mesquite, they didn't have the bridge there. No. And so they would, because I know in, in Grandma's book there, it would say they would get on, they'd wa ride the wagon, all of them load up, take kids and all, take them over to Mesquite to the to the grape farm, and the people would work, either uh, working with the raisins or picking, and the kids just laid down there in under a tree on, on the quilt, and the older ones took care of them. And so then they came back at the end of the day. But that seems like a long way to go for <laughs> grapes. Our grandpa had the grapes too, but it wasn't like theirs. They, they had more. And they did it for it, for money, and I think yeah. ours was just raised for to eat. Great fun. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what about? Did you, when did you get a phone? What was that? 
We didn't have one. I, I, when I was in high school, went across the street to Mitchell's when they lived across the street to, uh, if somebody called me, they called somebody else's house and I went over there. It was a party line. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, and we didn't have TV. We watched the, we watched the radio. We listened to the radio. <laughs> I watched it too. <laughs> we did get out there. Now, what else did we? Grandma has it. Yes. Yeah. So everybody would have to go there to, to use the phone? Where would they have to go? To the Valley well, Supply Store. There was one phone That's where there. the old store is. It's up there still. The standing. one that's still there? At the it's just Arches store. Right on Main Street. Right. Yeah. Um, do you remember your first phone number here? Too long for the short. Ever? Not here. Huh? I think we'd have to go over to Hannah's to phone. After I was married and in Vegas. Did you have to be wealthier to have a phone, or? I don't know whether it was the lines. Was, that was, was anybody wealthy? Was <laughs> <laughs> that wealthier? <laughs> what did you What did you do for? Um, you said there was ice cream in the store. Did you buy candy or did you make candy? What did oh, you, you do for eggs? Yeah. yeah, we took eggs if we had if people had chickens and they'd take an egg, you know, and use it to sell, and then we'd get some candy for it. I worked for Aunt Dinah when I was in high school when she had when she had the store, uh -huh. and they had a big candy place. <laughs> We like that. that's why we started liking candy. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you get money besides eggs? Is that it? That was pretty much <coughs> working. <coughs> we, we didn't have much money. We like to say we had to go finish the millions to get any money to spend. Oh yeah, that's true. Or milk cows. Um. What about um? What did you do? like? Okay, we made some last taffy tonight. This kind of thing get pulled all the way. <laughs> it's nice and hard now. But um, I've heard you made candy when you were younger. Do you remember? Was that a weekly thing? Was that just something you did? Sometimes you just have a candy pull yeah. when we were kids. For fun, you know, get together a bunch of girls and pull taffy, you know, and have candy. We weren't much for any other of those fancy candies. It was just sugar and water and whatever else it was. And you pull it. Um, made ice cream. <coughs> made ice cream. Yeah. Did you together make ice cream? Mixery, that's correct. Hand mixer. Boys did that. Did you, um, did you have, I mean, I don't know, are you old enough? Did you have quilting bees? Did you? Yeah, I remember mom having quilting bees and we'd, they'd do it outside and we'd sit out there because that's the best place to hear all the gossip because they're there <laughs> <laughs> they were quilting, talking as fast as they quilted and we got under the quilt or sat around listening to them. <laughs> Okay. Uh, anything else you want to tell us about what you? Anything that we've missed? That. Why don't you bring it in? I think we need to talk some more about the weights. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Enough BS. Enough. <laughs> BS comes from his side. Yeah. <laughs> Our weights were very. <laughs> Our grandpa was easy going. <laughs> He wasn't a smart, uh, you know, he wasn't a learned man, though, because I, and reading in the book, that was his downfall, because he didn't, I don't think he even knew how to read. He could write his name, but he, because he came from England when he was just a child. And one of the spots where he went to try to get some kind of, uh, what is it called, not welfare, but wanted to get some kind of a retirement thing. And they found out he hadn't, wasn't even a US citizen. So then they had to go and, this was when the kids were older, had to go and go through the process and so that he was a citizen. Because he was. Your grandpa? Yeah. Why wasn't he a citizen? Oh, because he, he came from England. England. Yeah. Just, yeah. Jesse yeah. was born in America. Yeah. Right. yeah. He was born in Hyde Park, John. Yeah. And they were, they were not the kind of people that had jobs in the church or political jobs. They were they were afraid to death somebody was going to ask them to do something. And they 
some of that's rubbed off onto generations. <laughs> <laughs> what did your parents do? What were their jobs? How did they support their families? Well, Dad at first was tried to be a farmer, and then he later was a cement. I'm taking over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he worked cement and, and had construction jobs, and sometime we got to, to go in the summer with him. So that maybe a couple months, different places to uh, to a job that he had, and we'd come back for school. Well, my my dad drove a milk truck from where to where? From here to Vegas. Me farm. That's why we had to milk the cows. Mm -hmm. he, Ride a milk truck every day to Vegas. So the dairy farms here supplied Vegas. Vegas with yeah. Anderson And then he uh, he worked on construction along with their dad. Then in 1955, he went to work for the highway department of transportation on doing the freeway across the river here. And then I went to work the same about two weeks later for him. I worked in Las Vegas. And we worked there until he retired. So did he stay here the whole time he worked? No, he transferred. All, he had to work all over the state. Oh. Where I was stationed in Vegas, they had to go on road constructions all over. But the family stayed here. Yeah. His family stayed here. Yeah. Yes. A couple of questions. The first one is, uh, when you made ice cream, where did you get the ice? They, uh, probably did they? There was actually an ice, ice plant. plant. Deal down at and by the falls. Falls, where the old mill oh, yeah. was. Yeah. Warren Hardy had ice out down there. Yeah. And a gin mill. Yeah. And a gin mill. Right down by the falls. And a gin mill. Warren Hardy had that. Gin mill. Yeah. 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 It's a good combination. I hear a little bit more about the gin mill. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Next question then would be, uh, what did they do with the dead people? Buried them. How did they? <laughs> <laughs> they, did, they kept them. Uh, How quickly? They buried them quickly. Yeah. 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 But, but then they yeah. kept uh, kept them cool, put ice on them. You'd have to sit up with them at night. Yeah. Of course. There's some stories on that because not, some people. The were women used to sit up with our dead. parents. Is dead. Well, my parents yeah. or dads. Yeah. Yeah. My my father tells a story. For example, he was. He was sitting up with one. Uh, someone just kind of frightened of the dark and also frightened of the dead. <clears throat> so they were, of course, by candlelight, and they'd have to periodically <coughs> take the moist cloth and take it from the face, put a new moist cloth on. And so just taking one of those, and he was working with this, this friend of his, and just as they were about ready to take the cloth off together, Dad blew out the candle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, get out of there <laughs> <laughs> they were big pranksters. <laughs> dad got yeah. it honestly because his dad was that way too. They're all that way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. te they teased the kids. Grandpa would and make faces. I remember him could whistle different ways, and I thought he was so clever because he could. I don't know how many different yeah. ways he could whistle. I know I hated my grandpa. <laughs> 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 He'd take me to the feet and dump my head in the ditch until he would drop me in the ditch. <laughs> not only about two two years old. Of course, he's trying to teach us not getting next to the ditch, which is right behind the house. Their house is that one little old house on the end of uh, what is that street? First Street. First Street. Did you go on the highway? Um, That's right. All boarded up. Yeah. yeah. It, Raised 13 kids in that little house. What about the cisterns? Isn't that how you had the water? Yes. Did every house have a cistern? I'm sure they did. That, the the try to catch the uh, way you have water. The yeah. Cistern. yeah. They try to catch the, the snow water. I mean, the, the river water wasn't particularly good. Hard, hard. It was didn't taste good. But if they catch it in the spring, when you actually had the snow water coming, that even if it was <coughs> even if it was muddy. They get that that cleaner, oh, excuse me, not cleaner, but that better tasting water, and then put it in tubs of in, in a cistern, and put ash on it, and, which would would make the the dirt or the, the mud go down. And then then the top of the water, the clean water, would, would not be bad tasting. Of course, later they actually piped piped from um, from the mountain 
And I, we, we can all remember, those who grew up here can remember that people from the Mount of Mesquite and from other valleys wanted to get some of this bulk of the water because it, it was nice and sweet. But before that, we hauled water from Beaver Dam. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, that's just what she said. Oh, that, that Marmot well water was, it was good water. Yeah. When I was growing up as a kid, I hauled water from Beaver Dam and filled sisters up. Yeah. That was in, in the late 30s. Was the Beaver Dam water just better? or was it was. Excellent water. water. Was it from the Still is. From the natural springs? Yeah. Was it from the springs or just from yeah, the natural springs? Just yeah. talking about the river waters. Grandpa waited. I was reading. Uh, my grandpa wrote, uh, I delivered the mail. You know, they went down to to, uh, to Guampa and back. And then sometime he went up to St. George and back. And so he was a great prankster, and, and so he had said that he'd tell these people that were coming through that that water out of the ditch would help their rheumatism and stuff. And so they <laughs> were going to go and drink the water out of the, out of the river because it was going to help them. <laughs> yeah, help them all. Right. <laughs> all right. Well, any other questions, anyone? What kind of businesses were in town besides the stores? Well, how many stores? We had two stores, they said. Two stores. Any other businesses in town? The, the farm station up there at the top of the Yeah, that, that service station. Up to the highway, that service station with the motel. It wasn't always in, it wasn't always in service, though. So it no. Was, it wasn't service when I was a kid. Well, the two out. stores had gas that you could get from, too. Yeah. Well, Florian? Yeah, can I answer that question? Sure. Uh, Bunkerville, uh, 20 to 30 years ago, was more uh, industrial than it is right now. All we got here in, in Bunkerville now is homes. We've got some nice homes, and we've got some junky homes. But uh, we had two stores. Uh, the Earls owned one of them. Roy Waite owned the other one. He had a gas station. He had a grocery store. He had a meat counter, and he had an ice cream store. And above that was the CC cap. You guys don't remember the CC cap. Yeah, we do. We had here. And uh, that was an asset to the, to the area because they frequented the stores. And also, they talked about uh, uh, Warren, Hardy, Warren Hardy had an ice, ice place down there. Also, he had a grist mill where he uh, uh, ground grain and made flour. So I think it was more prosperous then than it is now because uh, all we got here now is a bunch of homes. We haven't got no service station. We haven't got no no businesses at all. I don't think there's a license other than uh, a meat, meat store up here. And that's not even here anymore? No. Nope. But that was more of a service station. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, I'm, I'm talking about in the 30s, in the, in the 30s. Most of us that were raised here in the valley know that most of the early timers were pretty poor. In fact, when you guys and I went to school here in Bunkerville, most everybody that went to school was too poor to pay for the hot lunch. So everybody here in town would go home and have steak and potatoes. Was there any mining around here at all? Yes. They, the gold mine, they'd go to, down to Nelson, they call El Dorado, El Dorado Canyon, go down there working gold mines. Charlie Howe had a couple of uh, claims up here yeah. on the side of the mountain, but other What's than this? that, no. Well, it was Key West years ago. I yeah. think the generation before us actually, Gail, the, the, the farmers would, would raise uh, crops and then sell to the miners. I think there was more mining down there. In our generation, there were still a lot of mines, but as Guy Fott used to say, you didn't know if they were mining ore or Easterners. They were. <laughs> <laughs> Who was falling in? Right. right. I know before, well, I don't know, you may have already spoke about this, but about the dam being built in Lake Mead. 
this was in the 30s, long, long before you guys were. Not long. Not long before I was. <laughs> but do you remember your parents talking about the our dam being built? Our, our grandfather actually worked on the dam. Grandfather Hunt. Did you not did the Dutch? Dutch did. Dutch did. We had an uncle that did. But it didn't. Okay. What were their feelings about it? Did they like it? Did they did they want the dam? I mean, as far as because you know St. Thomas being under the water Covered. and all that, so were they okay with it? As far as I know, there was. They didn't didn't have to sleep outside with the mosquitoes. And it was work. I mean, yeah. it was yeah. That was during the depression, and yeah. everybody wanted work at that time. That, that was before the environmentalists took over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> And both of our grandpas worked on the mines, so yeah. the, 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 the mines changed them. Right. That's okay. All right. Well, if there's no more questions, we'd like to thank you for your your time. And thank you. We have some uh, mementos for our guests this evening. We have one for Claudia. Thank you. It's a certificate. Mike, we have one for you. Thanks. Thank you. And one for Marianne as well. Thank, thank you for being our moderator. Um, thank you very much for uh, participating. As you can see, we have people recording this. This will be in the uh, Virgin Valley Museum um, there on the Boulevard Mesquite. You can come in any time. The museum is open Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 4. You can see this Founders Forum or past Founders Forums as well there. Um, and I think they can even make a copy of it for you if you'd like there. So thank you very much.